And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Nowadays, the shelf life of a game is very short. We talk about games and we go, oh, that was so, you know, how long ago was that? And we're like, um, six months? So when a game lasts for decades, we have to take a look at it. So Kerplunk, we haven't reviewed this in a Dice Tower before. So let's take a look at this game. Probably most of you know what game I'm talking about, but perhaps you've never seen it. Perhaps you've seen it in the store. Is it worth getting? Let's take a look. Now, Kerplunk is made up of this bottom tray device and then this here, which is hollow on one end of it and has a door in the other. So you're just going to put this in here and then you're going to take um, some time and put sticks through these holes and cross and you can really put them through any way you want. So I might put them like this and you're going to do so until you have a cross uh, hatch of these in place. <music> you have it in place, you're then going to take all the marbles and drop them in at the top. And you can see this, the sticks here, uh, one of my sticks fell out, so I'm just going to pull these sticks out for now. But it's possible that you can put the sticks in and they don't fall out properly. Well, that's pretty much the setup for the game. Now, on a player's turn, they're simply going to They'll spin this so that the hole for it is at the bottom. I'll lean it up here a little bit so you can see of their number. So if I'm number one, I put it here. And then you simply take a stick and pull it out. And then each player is going to rotate it to their part and pull a stick out. And you can pull any stick out that you want as you're rotating this. And for a while, probably the marbles will stay in place. But as time goes by, eventually marbles are going to fall out. So let's keep going till we get to, okay, so you see that made three of the marbles fall out and they went into this spot here. And once you pull out a certain number of sticks, it's going to get more and more dangerous. Okay, that's really bad for player number three because they just had so many marbles fall out that they're having a hard time even coming out of the thing. Player three is gonna be out of this one. And then you just keep going till all the marbles have fallen. And once all the marbles have fallen, whoever has the fewest marbles in their section is the winner. You know, Kerplunk is two things. It's pickup sticks and it's marbles. These have been around forever, both of these toys. And so they combine them together into this game where you make things drop by pulling the sticks out. Now you saw that it's not the most sturdy of devices. Sometimes if you put the sticks in wrong, they just fall out, especially when you turn it. And in fact, you don't have to turn it if you want to if you want to play that way. You can just say, all right, when you get marbles, just stick them in a pile in front of you. Uh, because turning it can possibly make them fall. Although that can be part of the whole dropping things. Like, oh, okay, be careful when you turn it. Because if you turn it and marbles fall, they're yours. This game is a simple game. Why has it lasted so many years? And I think that's because the concept is very fun. There's a lot of dexterity games, right? Jenga where you're trying to pull things and not make the tower fall. Uh, there are games where you flick things, which are my favorite dexterity games. This is one where you're trying to not make some marbles fall down. So it's almost in the Jenga category. And it does have a cascading effect. The first four, five, six sticks pulled out, nothing's gonna happen, doesn't matter where, I mean, unless you're trying to make things fall. But as time goes by, there's more and more marbles precariously perched. And it gets to a point where it's like, you know, it doesn't matter what stick I pull out, the marbles are going to fall. But not all of them fall at the same time, especially if you're careful about the sticks you pull out. I'm not a huge fan of Kerplunk. It's okay. It's a way to pass time. I mean, I do like to see marbles fall down. I don't know what it is about that I like. 
But you know what? I played this with kids and it works really well. So this is a kid-approved game for me. Kerplunk is not really for adults, but it is a game that kids still enjoy. You know, 40, 50 years later, essentially. And people are still having a good time with this, pulling the sticks out, watching the marbles fall. My kids have access to a lot of modern kid games, a lot of fantastic stuff, right? So when they see garbage from the past, they recognize it for what it is. They like this one. So because of that, we got to approve it. It's something that you can go out. Now, this box, horrible. Stop making these stupid boxes where there's no lid on them. I know this is cheap. Probably cost you three cents to make. But that, that's just garbage just stored on the shelf. But still, it's an entertaining time, mostly for kids. And it's kind of nostalgic, maybe, for those of us who played it as a kid. Um, you would have a hard time maybe talking me into it, but my kids would like it. Dice Tower Judgment, it's a classic. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boop. Boop.